Welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. We're helping old uh, Hippocrates out. Pound. So, what has caused this man's condition? An excess of phlegm, doctor. In the immediate sense, yes. But more importantly, he suffers from neglect. Neglect? Good food, warm clothing, so much could have helped. But since other caretakers assumed his condition was a punishment from the gods, they neglected him. Challenging tradition. <laughs> you must be Hippocrates. Yes. I'm also very busy. This will only take a moment. I won't keep you away from your patients and your students. Observation, experience, and experimentation are crucial for treatment. My followers are learning that. I've come from your clinic in Argos. Sostratos asked me to give you this. I knew I forgot some things. Sostratos is a good physician, but a better apprentice there is none. Did you ask him to pay you for this delivery? No. I knew this would help you and your patients. That's good enough for me. Quite admirable. What did you say your name was? Alexios of Sparta. Well met, Alexios of Sparta. What do you need? I've been searching for a Spartan woman. What makes you think I would know her? I was told you may have helped her a long time ago. Maybe the priests at the sanctuary of Asclepios can help. They keep detailed records of all who passed through. Please, Hippocrates, I came very far to meet you. As did this patient, and the one before him, and the one before her. My patients need me, but my notes on diseases of the mind were taken. Retrieve them, and I will help you find what you seek. Hurry, this patient doesn't have much time left. Uh, the patient didn't mention the Baldwin. For Tyrins, not far from here. Perhaps they'll return them, if you ask. Or they could prepare for a new battle. With me. Far be it for me to tell Amistios how to work, but please, for my sake, do not kill needlessly. Enough blood has been shed in this war. Did Chrysis take your notes? Ah, you've met the priestess. No, not her, but the local military commander. I can't fault his desperation. Those men suffer terribly from battle fatigue. What was so interesting about these notes? They were my notes about diseases of the mind, including what the priests call the sacred disease. That's what this patient has. He's losing control of his limbs and throat, sometimes frothing at the mouth. I fear his breathing will stop next. Seizures. I'll do my best with what you've told me. Good luck. We're depending on you. Multiple quests accepted, oh boy. Let's take a look. Medical notes. Oh, thank you, right, let's go medical notes first. Uh, Fort Tyranus. Holy quest that got unlocked. say that, but I got a bunch of quests unlocked. And being counter-objective, 
side quests come first. Are these not side quests? If you're here for your purification bath, you'll have to come back another time. I'm here for information. In that case, you can go straight to Hades. I need to know about the Spartan woman who came through here many years ago. Did that eagle of yours shit in your ears? I'm under strict orders not to talk to any mercenaries. Especially not about Spartan women or injured babies. I never mentioned the baby. Think you're so smart? Many women pass through with babies. Now leave me. I have my own problems to deal with. Maybe I can help you. Snakes! Snakes. They're everywhere! Must have escaped from the Tholos. We keep them for treatments, but they invaded the bathhouse. This snakes killed someone? A patient was purifying himself when they slithered in. Turns out he's terrified of snakes. Fell over dead. Now the snakes have made him their home. What if I took care of your snake problem? Would you talk to me then? Oh, most definitely. The purification bath is crucial in the path towards healing. I'll take care of your snake problem. Then, you'll tell me what I need to know. Alrighty. free of snakes I carved up every single one of those slimy malages my babies what have you done to my babies your snakes infested my bathhouse a sick man is dead because of them you you did this good snakes are dead snakes you'll pay for this I curse you well well, what? Uh, I took care of the snakes. Now you're going to tell me about the Spartan woman and the baby. <laughs> I actually don't know anything. It was before my time. The man who does know is Mithun, but he won't tell you. He won't tell anyone anything. <laughs> well, I got a name. the name yep <laughs> dude really Let me kill you. Oh, 
Why are you killing the dog? And another bounty hunter joins. Wow! Let's just get out of here. Bounty hunters are quite annoying. Greetings, young one. Come to offer us Clipios a sacrifice? No. But I'm searching for a Spartan mother who may have. The great goddess Ira guides many mothers to the sacred place. Surely I'm too feeble to remember them all. What are these stone slabs for? These are uh, records. We document all who pass through, uh, their illnesses, treatments, so that the glory of Asclepios can be celebrated. Then I don't need your memory. I just need to find the right stone. Um, yes, of course. That's very wise indeed. If only I had the time to help you. Threatening or not threatening? My mother came through here. And unless you want me to paint these stones with your blood, you'll tell me what you know. Please, it's Chrysis. She said that anyone who talks to the Eagle Bearer will be paying a visit to Hades. Then don't talk. Just bring me to the stone that can. Follow me then. Quickly. We must be discreet. Lead the way. This way. Over here. If anyone is watching, they'll have my head. What kind of sanctuary isn't safe for its priests? Times have changed, Eagle Bearer. Ah, I remember this tale. Written during the time of the great Elod Revolt. You would have been only a child. I don't need the history, just the details. It tells the tale of a woman with worms in her throat. Asclepios took off her head so we could remove them, then reattached it in her sleep. Definitely not the right one. I wonder what Hippocrates would think of these treatments. Hippocrates is a... F I'm tired of these mercenaries. right now he puts too much faith in his hands and not enough in the gods when it comes to life and death i prefer hands are all the testimonies so outrageous writers today thukidides Evripides, the petulant aristophanes all of them try for realism but what really inspires is greatness magic This one tells the tale of a man with sword wounds. A pack of dogs licked him clean, and Eureka, a man's best friend indeed. This is 
hopeless. These stories give people hope even better. Well, I'm losing mine. Tell me about Chrysis. A very powerful, dangerous woman. But it was not always so. She was abandoned here as a child and taken in by the priests. Taught the ways of the gods. She learned uh, very quickly. Was very strong-willed, and uh, before too long, it was the priests who listened to her. She was loved, but there is an anger in her heart that could not be soothed. So, when her methods turned to madness, anyone who opposed her got um, got what? I've already said too much. And what about this one? Let me guess. It tells the tale of a blind woman who had her eyes licked by snakes. It reads of Sparta. Came here with child. Sought pity from the gods. But why is most of it scratched out? Oh, uh, I'm... I'll just tell you. I know this one by heart. The Spartan woman arrived filthy and bleeding from her travels. We cared for her, gave her food, a bath. And she left. Where she went, I do not know. The child could not be saved. Who does know where she went? We've been spotted. Meet me later, near the olive tree of Heracles, at the entrance of the sanctuary. I may have something for you. And what do we have here? A priest and a mercenary out for a friendly stroll? May the gods be with you, Plistos. I was just on my way to the archives when this Mystheus bumped into me. Is that so? And what were you both chatting about so fervently, might I ask? I'm filthy and could use a good bath. The kind priest here was pointing me in the direction of the bathhouse. Um, yes, that's correct. The bathhouse is right over there. Now, if you'll excuse me... The baths are for healing the sick, not for washing the blood off one's hands. Leave. Can I press R to you? Valley of Dreams. Northern part of the Valley of the Dreams, over here. Like right there, I think. That was right. The tree of Heracles. I'm not sure if it's loved more for its legend or its olives. Now, where's that priest? I thank you for your discretion, Eagle Bearer. Chrysis has many eyes and ears throughout the sanctuary. What else can you tell me about the Spartan woman and child? The woman left the child's blanket behind. We tried to return it, but it was too painful a memory for her. Where did she go? What happened to the child? So, Chrysis was right. You knew the rules, Timoxenos. Oh, you will suffer her wrath. Plistos! Please! Get behind me, priest. I'll deal with these two. Yeah. <laughs> 
Are you guys dead? And that priest is dead. Come at me. Now what? What happened now? Happened to that priest, but okay. spare her from suffering. Will she live? Not unless the gods heed our prayers. Many sick Athenians have arrived in Argolis recently, and very few have left. This poor girl has the same sickness. Is there anything I can do to help? I was warned of the eagle bearer. Wants nothing but drachmi for blood. I was told. We're wasting time, priest. We can discuss what I want when this sick girl's needs are taken care of. Her illness seems to have no cure, and it's spreading. Our sacrifices have done little to draw the attention of the gods. Pigs, goats, all have fallen on deaf ears. We need a beast whose blood will ignite these flames for Asclepios to see. What did you have in mind? There is a rumor of a bull with skin as white as snow roaming the sanctuary outskirts. Head west of here. Towards the coast. Bring it to me alive and will offer a sacrifice the gods cannot ignore. I'm touched you will help these people. But I know why you're really here. Chrysis made all priests swear oaths to seal our lips in the face of the eagle bearing Mystios or forfeit our lives. But I serve the gods and the sick. My oaths are to them. I'll find this bull for you. Put it near the ruins, huh? Near those ruins. How am I gonna bring it alive, though? Of us. The white bull. Am I too late? Let's hope no one notices me here. Doesn't look like he died 
Back here. Not the best feeling. I hope this heart is enough. If they want the whole bowl, they can come get it themselves. Look at the time I've gone long again. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. When we come back, we'll uh, deliver this. Uh, if you did enjoy, please leave a like. Bye.